This is nuts, guys. All across the internet, you're seeing stories pop up about the oil market. Yes, it crashed yesterday. The price of oil drops and goes negative. This is really scary. Let me kind of give you my take on this and what it's going to do to uh, the entire marketplace right now, as well as why this happened and what it's going to do to you as a real estate investor or someone in the real estate business or someone that owns real estate. So first thing is oil prices dropped to, I think, negative $40 at one point yesterday. That is absolutely insane. That doesn't even make sense. It's not just that it dropped, it's that it dropped immediately and just fell out like a rock falling from the sky. That's just scary guys, because crude oil drops negative. Now, I'm out of Texas, so I know a little bit about oil. I'm not an oil expert, but I, I've been around it quite some time, uh, and a lot of my friends are in this industry. And at one point, the spot price for oil was supposedly $20. Well, I'm hearing from my friends out there that uh, it's trading for four to $6, and this was just a couple weeks ago, that it's actually trading for four to $6 because these companies are just trying to bring cash in. That's kind of like what's happening right now, think about with silver and gold. Even though the silver price the other day I was looking at, I forget what it was, if you go on the internet and actually try to buy silver or you actually try to go buy it, the cost to actually buy it is a lot more than what it's actually supposedly trading for. So the markets are all out of whack and things are getting crazy quickly and they're moving so fast, there is a real value, which is what the public will pay for and demand for it. And then there's the, the market value, I guess you could say, which is why we're seeing 22 million uh, unemployed in a month, yet the stock market's still going up. Not really, because they dropped a little bit, so that's something to watch as well. Now, this is important, guys, because it's the number one commodity traded worldwide, oil is. This market affects all markets, and literally, oil prices are negative. Now, does that mean you're going to have to pay someone like people are saying to take it off your hands? No, it just means nobody's going to take it off your hands. You can't even really give it away right now. There's no demand for it, so there's no value to it, because there's so much of it. The supply is overwhelmingly... Uh, saturating the marketplace, which is why this, there's an issue. And I'm gonna explain this supply and demand issue and why this is happening with relating to how oil comes out of the ground. And what it's gonna to do to the market that we're in as far as real estate professionals. So the first thing is demand and supply. Demand is incredibly low while supply is way high. Now, why is this happening? Well, look at what's happened over the past few months. Guys, we've been all trapped inside. We've been in quarantine. This is not just here in the States. This is all around the world. So this is a global market being affected. And what happens when you can't get out there and consume? Not only can you not go and consume uh, food products and go uh, shopping to retailing stores or to retailers, you just can't use anything at the rate that we were before. So if a bunch of people are stuck inside and they're not out there consuming every day, the consumption rate that usually would traditionally happen is being tacked on top, if that makes sense. So after months of sitting at home, this is a lot of supply that's been backed up because of this right here. The way that oil's coming out of the ground, guys, is it cannot be just started and stopped. It's not like they can just turn off a switch and say, we'll turn it back on. These pumps continue to go the way that they're set up because of the, I'm not quite sure exactly how it's set up, but the pressure, uh, the way that they're set up and, and, and how they kind of secure them and how they operate doesn't allow them just to have a start and stop uh, to it. That's the reason why supply is going up and up and up because all these oil wells that you see out there, they're still pumping oil right now. So supply is going up while there is no demand and, and usage is going down. So, what does that mean? Well, go back to Economics 101. That means the price is gonna drop. And this is another big reason why you're seeing prices drop. Now all this oil's coming out of the ground, you guys have probably seen photos on the internet of giant uh, oil tankers sitting offshore, just sitting there stacked up with oil, right? What are they gonna do with it? Where are they going to store it? Now think about what you pay for a normal storage unit uh, to store just your furniture and your clothes, right? Very expensive. You have to store your stuff somewhere. So all the supplies come out of the ground. There's no demand to kind of take take on the supply, and they have to store it somewhere. So it's not just that they can't get any anything out of it as far as money out of it. They're now having to pay money to store this oversupply. And not only that, they have to find a place to store it. Where, where are you just going to store all these barrels, right? So this is happening all across the planet. It's affecting everything all at once. It's a very uh, scary situation, actually, when you think about it. Now, in relationship to what it's doing, you see the immediate drop in the stock market, uh, 13, 1400 points here in the past two days because it's uh, in light of this recent news. But what about in the real estate market? So guys, you know, I, I run a real estate team all across the country and I have about a hundred real estate agents in my organization in Houston, Texas. Houston's a, a well-known uh, area for oil. Uh, it's down there in that part of Texas. And uh, what happened, the other, or what's happened in the past in this market when oil, the oil industry has been hit? It's affected the real estate market. Now, that is a, a lot of that was local many times. 
Now it's also global, but most of the time it hit local there hard, but this is gonna hit all over the country, right? Think about how many jobs are about to get, uh, about to be lost. Think about how much um, revenue these oil companies bring in and the oil industry brings in. That's gonna drop taxes, like everything is gonna fall out all at once, guys. So if I was you in the real estate business with, the, with how everything's going, I'd be less aggressive on the acquisitions that you're making. I would not buy anything unless it has a substantial equity position and that you can cash flow this property if you have to for some reason. This is gonna be a scary, scary situation, guys. You should be operating with more reserves than you traditionally do. We've been playing aggressive game for the past five, eight years, and a lot of you guys have been get, getting bailed out on properties that you bought because of the appreciating market. That's not gonna happen anymore. There's a really good chance that over the coming years we see a correction in the housing market drop. Now, if everybody's losing their jobs and a lot of jobs are gonna be affected because the oil price is dropping, that's gonna be less people. They're gonna be able to make their payments on houses, pay their mortgage, looking for places to rent, and as you guys can see, falling in suit, everything is going to correct and we are about to see a correction coming down. That is what everybody's expecting. It's gonna affect all the different markets, but if you wanted to know why this happened, why crude prices dry, or crude oil drops so much, it's because people are not out there consuming, supply is still coming on the ground, and there's nowhere to store it, now there's a cost to store a product that has no value to it. So this is a little bit scary, guys, and as this plays out, I just urge you guys, uh, start thinking of how to build your business with time or work ethic type of strategies, lead generation strategies, cold calling, things that don't cost money out of pocket. Dollars are more valuable now today than they've been in a long time. And you always hear saying cash is trash. Well, not when nobody has cash. Cash is valuable, right? So normally you want your cash inside an asset or inside a business, turning over, going out there in the marketplace, bringing back more friends with them, increasing. But right now, I think people really need to slow down. They're making decisions, put money in stocks, they're making decisions, put them in all sorts of different things, and they're jumping on opportunities. Guys, once your money's in play, and it gets stuck in play, you can't get it out. So right now, be very careful, strategically planning what you're gonna do with your liquid uh, cash on hand. What you're gonna do as far as your marketing strategies going forward, I would start reaching out to your tenants, I would start reaching out to individuals uh, in your business, and start getting an idea of where these people's mindset is. Because if you talk to your tenant, they're like, yeah, great, you know, my, my boss told me I have six months, 12 months, or I'm fine, it's no big deal. But if they're, if they're feeling iffy, or you're getting a feeling that it's as iffy on whether or not they're gonna be making their payments soon, you need to start preparing. And right now, the more you prepare to aggressively, assertively attack these problems that are gonna start popping up, the faster you can get these problems solved, the more money you're gonna make. So it's, we're in damage control now, guys. Start thinking about how to minimize the damage. Think of it like a fire hydrant blowing out uh, water. You need to start plugging that hole as fast as, pos as fast as possible. And the way to do that is start forecasting out in the future the problems that this could cause and start reaching out to the individuals to find out if there's a coming problem. And if there is, start trying to plan it now. Uh, it's a good way to think of it. So I hope that kind of helps, guys, that you can see what's really going on because a lot of people ask this uh, question about this. And yeah, this is gonna affect the real estate market. It's gonna affect all the markets. I mean, the biggest commodity trade worldwide just went to nothing. There's no value for it. So guys, get in for a uh, brace for a bumpy road. Stay positive, do what you can. Doesn't mean take your eye off the ball. Just means be a lot more aware of what you're doing. Don't take so many risks in the marketplace. Maybe stop spending so much money marketing and start looking for different strategies that take time and work ethic and not dollars out of pocket. That'd be my best advice, guys. And as things uh, unwind and play out, I will give you more information as I come across it. Other than that, see ya when I see ya.